it's been about a year now since I've had my bunion and I've been looking for shoes and I think now I've got my top five that I can rate for you and I have four categories the first one is comfortability how comfortable are they and how well do they fit my bunion and then the second one is long wary how many hours can I wear them for and then the third category is weatherproof. Are they good for rain? Are they good for snow? And of course, sun. And then I have my fourth category, which is outfit versatility. How many outfits can I wear with this shoe and how versatile is it? So we're gonna start with the first pair and well, the first shoe. It's easier to show you when if it's just one shoe. And this one is the Vince Camuto Semterra Block heel. I got these from Nordstrom. The comfortability, I would say, is about a 7 out of 10. Now, why is because I can wear these for quite a while. We'll go into that category after. Like, there is a arch support right here. And it's like very squishy. It wraps my bunion very nicely. It doesn't hurt it when I walk. But it gets a 7 out of 10. Because you know how when you walk and then... I think the best way to show it is like this. Like, it just slaps the the heel right there and it could get a little bit annoying and then it'll turn into uncomfortable. Also, sometimes if you misstep, your feet will just uh, slip out of this shoe. So this only wraps around like your bunion area where your toes just peek out. They don't have a strap on the back, so it could just slip out. Now for long wearing, the shoe is also around a seven out of 10. I wore these shoes to a wedding and I can wear them for four hours. But again, with the dancing part of the wedding, sometimes I had to change my shoes because again, yes, it just slips right off. I'm not saying that you can't wear these shoes for longer than four hours though. That's why it gets a seven out of 10 because of just like the slapping up your heel constantly. For weatherproof, well, it's a sandal, so it's gonna get a five out of 10. I don't wear these in rain. Of course I don't wear these in snow. I only wear these between like late spring and early fall. I might not even pull these out for fall, so this is a more like spring summer shoe. That's why it's only half of the year, but really in Vancouver, it's more like three months of the year, maybe four months tops. So that's why these get a five out of 10. And then when we go into outfit versatility, this one gets a seven out of 10. When I got these heels, I was super excited because I have so many outfits that just didn't work with my old sneakers or my old, well, I couldn't wear my old boots. I used to wear boots, little heeled boots and whatnot. They just didn't fit my bunion anymore, but all my outfits fit heels and I was really excited to get these and I did a whole video on them. I can wear dresses, skirts, trousers, anything I could with these shoes. I won't particularly wear them with jeans or trousers more. I think this is more of like a dress shoe, but not even quite short. So this one is more of a seven out of 10. I think it's because it shows so much of your foot in the back. Shorts just look a little odd. Like these work probably the best with maxi skirts. There's like a flow of fabric and then your feet kind of peek out so that's why this one gets a 7 out of 10. Now the next pair of shoes are Birkenstocks. Now Birkenstocks are super comfortable so then I give these a 9 out of 10. I gave them one point off because you have to break into these. For my feet, I had to break into them. Uh, you'll notice there's a little creasing right there because my feet needed to adjust to these shoes. And then once they're adjusted, they are so comfortable. And for long wearing, they are eight out of 10. My friend hiked in these for maybe four to five hours and it worked for her. I could wear these for quite a long time, but I took out two points. It was because for some reason, in, like at the edge right here you could get a blister because it's not super soft you can wear them for a long time but my feet just get like it scrapes on the edge here and it just doesn't like that and then of course with a weatherproof again they are sandals but I give them a 6 out of 10 because well your feet don't come crashing out of the shoe and also they are great for just slipping on and off coming in and out of the house it's good for lounging around the campfire like I can't do that with those Vince sandals so that's why this one gets a one point higher but other than that this is again a 
spring, maybe early fall shoe. So that's why this gets slightly higher. As for outfit versatility, I give these a five out of the 10. With my outfits, I find these hard to style. I guess they work with some jean shorts and maybe some loose fitting pants for a more carefree look, but other shoes just style better. Now my next shoe are these Vivaya Tara boots. They are knee high boots, super stretchy, and comfortability, they are 8 out of 10. Like super duper comfortable. They are square toe. My bunion fits right there. But something to note why I gave them my 8 out of 10 is because my bunion fits just right. It's not super bunion friendly. Like if you have something bigger, it may or may not fit. So you definitely have to try them. They are comfortable. But again, it's like the Birkenstocks. You have to break into them. Because at first it did feel like this was squishing in my toes but because of the fabric is super stretchy I felt like it started to mold to my feet and once that happened then it was super comfortable for long wearing wise I tested these out I went shopping in these I've walked around town in these I would give these an 8 out of 10 now I also played a piano performance in them and then my my foot would just go like up and down pedaling for a full hour because that's what my repertoire had and it wasn't difficult to pedal you start to feel a little bit in the toes. That's why it's an 8 out of 10. But because I was able to just like walk in them all day, they are still very comfortable. And then going into weatherproof, well, they are knee-high boots. And the good thing about these is that they are water resistant. And I was able to walk in rain in them and whatnot. Even I was able to go in snow. But the reason why this shoe is going to get an 8 out of 10, not a 10 out of 10, it was because when I walked in the snow about a few months ago, maybe like three months ago, I was slipping and sliding because this shoe has no grip. None. Like as much as my feet were completely dry, I felt like I was either skiing in the snow, like cross country skiing or just skating. So there was that. So not a snow proof shoe, but definitely a rain proof shoe. And then with outfit versatility, this one worked really well with skirts, winter skirts and even trousers. Like when the trousers cover the, the top of the shoe and just like this peeks out, it still looked really nice because it's just a black square toe. It almost looks like a loafer type shoe. And the reason why I would give this a 9 out of 10 for outfit versatility is because just for the one point, like I still like wearing skinny jeans and covering the skinny jeans is like a task in itself because the skinny jeans are wrapped around your calves. These are wrapped around your calves and you're trying to just like shove the fabric in there and then have the fabric not crease this fabric and it gets really, really difficult. But other than that, these shoes just fit with so many outfits. Now the next shoe I have are these Betty Combat boots from Steve Madden. These are comfortable, like eight out of 10 comfortable. But again, another shoe that you have to break into. Your heel will start to hurt at first right there. Like I wasn't able to drive manual on them, but then after a while I was, and I was really happy about that. Like you can see this creasing right here. That was just from over wearing, and then it was comfortable. So that's why it's an eight out of 10. And then with long wearing, after the heel stops hurting, you can wear this all day. So that's why the long wearing is a nine out of 10 because I've worn them all day after I've broken into them and they are very comfortable. Now at first my bunion didn't fit in this shoe and it was odd after it did, but which means the, the breaking into, but I also have a bunion splint so that might have helped, but it didn't help with any of my other heels. So there was that. Now for weatherproof, this is nine out of 10. For the opposite reason, like I wouldn't really wear this on a really hot summer day. I can wear these in snow. There's a lot of grip, way more than the Vivatara boots. And I can wear these in rain and a really nice day out. Yeah, I can like a nice fall or a cold summer or cold spring, something like that. This is more so your fall, winter, spring shoe. Not quite a summer. Like, I mean, you could try to do some summer outfits. It does have a little bit more grungy vibe, which then leads me to my outfit versatility. I would give it an eight out of 10 because my outfits, particularly 
don't always fit with combat boots like this. I like wearing something airy and classic and sometimes my classic outfits like trousers and skirts and stuff like that don't quite fit the combat vibe. I like wearing my leather jacket and that's when I feel comfortable throwing these on or my jean jacket. I don't mind throwing this on but if I'm wearing a trench coat or um, a wool coat then these just don't quite fit with my style so that's why it gets an 8 out of 10 for the outfit versatility. Going into my last shoe, this doesn't really need quite an introduction but it is the Nike Air Force Ones. This was the original shoe, the very first shoe when I got my bunion that I heard was the shoe to wear, the most comfortable shoe and I would say yes, it is the most comfortable shoe I've ever worn. With or without a bunion, I think a lot of people would agree. This is the, the 07s. I did a whole video, I've done other videos trying to contrast this shoe but this shoe just beats it all for bunion nated feet. I made the word up. So yeah, it <laughs> comfortability 10 out of 10. I, they're, I've worn this all day even to a Taylor Swift concert. I can walk all day in them. I can dance all night in them and then try to line up to get out of the stadium walking out of that. Yes, these are the shoes that I've worn and they were fine. Like My feet did not hurt. So again, with then the long wearing, the hours that I could wear this is then 10 out of 10 because it just, I don't know how else to say how great these shoes are. I know some people that hate this shoe because it's everywhere and I agree. It is everywhere, but it is such a classic. I know like if you go into a dance studio or a yoga studio and you have to take your shoes off and then you go and put your shoes on, you don't know which Air Force Ones is yours because a lot of people have the white Air Force Ones because it's just so good. Like weatherproof, it does get an 8 out of 10 because it's not a, a rain and well torrential rain and snow type shoe, but I've worn these in the rain and my feet didn't get wet. Maybe it just wasn't raining hard enough but I also wasn't jumping in puddles or anything. So it's not like your socks will get wet wearing these shoes. I won't particularly pull them out if it is raining really hard but you know sometimes we get surprise rain showers here in Vancouver so that happens. With outfit versatility, this shoe gets 9 out of 10. And why I say 9 out of 10 and not 10 out of 10? Because as much as I wear these almost every day with any outfit I've worn even like something like a nice blouse or a nice pair of trousers I can throw on Air Force Ones. I also really like wearing formal dresses sometimes and I remember when I first got my bunion I wasn't able to wear any shoe with my formal dress in that event to go to and I was like oh maybe Air Force Ones will work and well it didn't like well it kind of did but it kind of didn't at the same time so I was just like eh, this is the only thing that won't work with Air Force Ones is formal dresses. I mean you might be able to make it work but I wasn't able to make it work. But other than that it definitely any outfit besides formal stuff which makes sense because it's a sneaker. Now out of all five of these shoes though I'm not saying these are the worst shoes in the world. They're actually one of my top fives, one of my favorites. I have other bunion friendly shoes. These aren't these didn't quite fit in the categories as much um, as much as I love the heels and but the weatherproof nice comfortability is not as great as the ones that I just showed you. So just by ranking these shoes, out of 40, the Vince Camuto comes in last place, but they're not bad with 26 out of 40. And then with the Birkenstocks, they come at 28 out of 40. And then the Vivatara boots are 33 out of 40. The Combat boots are 34 out of 40. And of course, my number one bunion friendly shoe is the Nike Air Force Ones and they come at 37 out of 40. Now, this was so much fun. Like, I didn't actually know I could rate my shoes. They're, they're like kids or cats or like, you know, when you have your favorite cat or something like that. If you like any of these videos, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It really helps me and the kitties. And then I will see you over there. All right. Goodbye for now.